I want to begin by giving the historic Smithville and Shell's wake staff and management uh, a big round of applause for their great work. So thank you guys. Thank you. The work, and they didn't know that was for them, right? Okay. All right. Hey, Tony, make sure you pass along our thanks. Will do. Okay. All right. Uh, also, special thanks to Linda Gilmore for making this program possible today with all your extra work. We couldn't have really done it without you. I know uh, John Coyle, where are you, John, was especially appreciative of Linda's efforts. Uh, uh, and also, thanks for printing the flyer. That was a big help. And, and also, Bob Frillo. Where are you, Bob? Yeah, yeah, he was a big help. I really think it was Yagoda that did all the work. Bob's getting the credit for it, but that's okay. Thanks. Thanks, Bob. Make sure you tell you go to thank you. But really, Bob did, did play a part some. And now, for the big, very big, special event we've got scheduled today. Now, Tony Capola will be formally introducing our guest, our special guest. But before he gets up here, I'd like to thank Tony and the township for all they do to support our citizens uh, and, our, and, our, and especially our veterans. So thanks, Tom. Really do appreciate that. And now, this is what you've been waiting for. Tony Coppola, the mayor of Galloway Township. this flag. I gotta, oh, I gotta do one thing here. He's the man. Is that proper? That's good. All right. That's good. My dad was an army guy. He taught me that. I always keep the flag on your right. First of all, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much for coming to Four Seasons Veterans Group. I mean, it's uh, this has kind of become your de facto home away from home. Um, this is probably the largest social group uh, in Four Seasons, right? Maybe second to Bocce, maybe, but, okay, fair enough. But um, a, a sincere, uh, warm welcome to everybody from Four Seasons, and thank you so much for the support that you've shown not only me, but our businesses here in Galloway. It truly really means a lot to me. Uh, I'm here tonight to introduce uh, somebody who's become a friend of mine over the years, someone who's taught me you know a lot about about politics and how to conduct myself and he's been a mentor to me and I'm so honored to be here to introduce him tonight um, you know he was the first one that I've heard say that you know in local politics it doesn't really matter if you're a Republican or Democrat because we serve our entire community we're not voting on the things that separate us on on a national level those big divisive issues like health care and gun control and the wall and things like that we're talking about what's good for our community this is about our roads and our parks and our, our, our safety and security. And in a lot of ways, the things that we do at the local and the county level affect our lives a lot more than even the things that happen at the national level. As much as we like to get upset and yell at the TV set, you know, the things that are happening locally are really the things that affect us um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, I guess it was 2010 when I first got in office in Galloway Township and um, I, was having a, I was having a bad couple weeks there. And um, I saw Danny out one day and I said, he said, how's it going, how's it going Galloway? And uh, you know, I wasn't, having a, I wasn't having a good day and I said, looking for a little sympathy, I said, Danny, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. He's like, well, if you don't think you're cut out for it, then, then let somebody else do the job because there's people that would love to do that job. And he taught me to pull my pants up and, and be a man about it. And, I, and I, I did, and I look at it a different way from then until now, I do. And I hold the people around me even more accountable. Because at that time in 2010, Atlantic County was regarded, uh, and it still is, as the best run county in the entire state of New Jersey, thanks to Danny. And at that time, when I first got on council, Galloway Township wasn't even in the conversation of the best town in New Jersey, let alone the best town in Atlantic County, or you know any, anywhere around here. So uh, we had a lot of work to do. So, but watching Denny and watching how he operated and learning valuable lessons from him, and, and how to hold myself accountable and how to hold people around me accountable. And, you know, before I was trying to do everything and take it all myself. And uh, now I learned to surround myself with good people and hold them accountable. And uh, then he taught me a lot about that. He also taught me that, um, um, you know, take yourself seriously 
And when something good happens, pass the you know pass it around. My team, it's my team. They did this for me. When something bad happens, you eat it. You eat it, and you chew it up, and you swallow it, and you taste that bitterness. You know you don't want to do that again, so you don't go down that road. It's Pavlovian, right? If it burns, you don't touch that again. And that's how we learn our lessons in this game. You know, this is a guy that's fought for us, that's received accolades from, you know, every veterans organization at the local, county, state, and federal level, just about, um, and from both political parties, I might add, from both Democrats and Republicans alike. So that says something about this guy's commitment to our veterans. It's evidenced by our, our uh, veterans museum that we have in Atlantic County and our veterans cemetery that's so well maintained. And, uh, and this guy's been an advocate for veterans across across Galloway and across Atlanta County. Um, you know, this is a guy that's not afraid to fight for us. Then he taught me another valuable lesson that you can get a lot with the with the carrot and sometimes dangling a carrot and using finesse is the way to go. And sometimes you gotta go to the stick. So ladies and gentlemen, a man that's not afraid to fight for us at Atlanta County, our county executive, Danny Levinson. Thank you, Tony, for your kind words, and uh, some of it may be a little questionable, but I know what isn't. When Tony became part of the Galloway Township administration and now mayor, I couldn't say this town was doing as well as it is. It now is recognized as one of the finest run towns in New Jersey, and it's not by accident. Tony, thank you, and thanks for being my friend. I don't do this because I don't like to get political, but there is somebody here I want to recognize. She's running for county commission at large, and she has never missed a veterans event. And the reason she goes is in honor of her father, a combat Marine in World War II. So just want to recognize that June Burns. Stand up, June. And I know you have somewhere to go. So you. And that's before she took office. She was always there, just in the memory of, of her dad. And we're, in, we're here because you honored us. And because you honored us, we want to do whatever we can to keep in mind the sacrifices you have made and your family have made to serve this country, the greatest country on earth. And you know what? When Brittany Griner was put in a Russian prison, and all the publicity that was around it. She did not respect the flag prior. She either didn't come out or had her head down. But after she was in that Russian prison, she stands straight and tall during our national anthem. Now, what does that tell you? It tells you how dear liberty is. And once she realized it was almost, uh, you know, why didn't I know this before? I want to go home. I want to go to America. And, uh, you know, we're a very forgiving nation. And I am just very, very proud that she now realizes, and so is she, that America stands for goodness. We're not perfect. And uh, we're trying the very best we can. Remember, that Constitution of ours was changed 20-some times and we continue to try to make ourselves better. With that said, ladies, gentlemen, thank you so very much for your service. And uh, your sacrifices will never be forgotten. Um, unfortunately, you know, one Memorial Day, one Veterans Day, one Flag Day, and uh, but that's the way it goes to remind us. And I did notice one thing at the Memorial Day service out at the Stone Manor Cemetery. The people that come out are around my age and your age. We're the young people 
that ought to be standing straight and tall. And if there's one thing that I think we should be doing in this country, as uh, much as I questioned it years ago, is instituting the draft and bring it back and let everybody sacrifice the way the rest of it. That is extraordinarily important. And uh, one of the, uh, the things that should build patriotism, if you don't want to go into the service, if you have uh, your conscience on the left, we'll find something else for you to do to honor this great country. And you have honored me uh, to be county executive. And uh, I do everything I possibly can to never, ever let you down. I love you all. God bless you. And thank you so very, very much. By the way, I'm not as decrepit as I look. I broke my back, so this is hopefully a little temper. Welcome, Wendy. Jenny, on behalf of the Four Seasons Veterans Club, we want to thank you for everything you do for veterans, and thank you for coming out to join us today. A token of our appreciation. Wow. It truly is a labor of love serving you all. Thank you again. Unnecessary. I'm not sure I can take gifts, but I'll ask my attorney. Thank you. Again. <laughs> We'd also like to recognize two individuals that are here today that have helped us with this medal program as far as pulling this off. It's Bob Furlow and Linda Gilmore. They're both here today. As a token of our appreciation, we have these beautiful paperweights for you. The one for you and one for Bob. And we also have one here for the Dota also. So you go there with... I'll make sure she actually gets it. She's a good hit. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is how we're going to do this to make it as, uh, as easy as we can really make this happen. What we're going to do is uh, Bob Prolo is going to read the names of those who are going to get the award today along with two that are being presented posthumously to the spouse. In addition, after he's done with that, he's going to read the list of those who've already received it who are here today. Now, if your name is called and you're to receive the award, I, we ask that you stand in place. And that way, uh, Linda and I, you're going to be around, Linda, to do this. Linda and I will then go to you and we'll present you with the medal. That work? That makes sense? So if you hear your name called, just simply stand in place and we'll come to you. Make sense? Okay, you ready, Bob? Very good. Bob's been practicing last names. Sure. So let's see how good or not Bob does. Okay, Bob. You ready? No pressure. Thank you, you sure? Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Just a quick to give it my background, those of you who don't know. Um, I was uh, drafted in 19... 68. Uh, I was 25 when, when they got me in the Army, but I very luckily served 9th Infantry Division, 39th Cavalry, Air Coach and Field Unit. Uh, I had no discrepancies at all. Uh, I was almost a Tex bad boy. I didn't want to do that, but once I got in, uh, it, I felt pretty good. And I'm proud to do what I did. God bless you all, and I'm glad to be here to remember all of you. Okay, our first name would be for Mr. Earl Bowie. Posthumously, his wife is here. Joy, is she here? Let me get her. Keep going. Next, Daniel Brothers, United States Army. Next is Louis Canazaro, United States Army. Mr. 
Joseph Peter Catania, United States Navy. Thank you. 
Gerald Timmons, United States Army. Peter Tridenti, United States Army. Who was that? Peter Tridenti or Sheila Weber, United States Air Force. Harry Wolverton, United States Army. speaker when he sat at the table and he appreciated the advance notice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice to be appreciated. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's my understanding from Linda that there will be 22 additional members that have applied that will be getting their medals who are not here today. But I, but I do need to ask, now I'm not going to read the whole list. <laughs> I, I, I do need to ask, did we miss anybody at all? Did we, we, miss, we, miss, we miss. I didn't get our mail. Oh, you didn't get it in the mail? Oh, stand up. We're going to fix this right now. You will now, and Linda's going to make the presentation. Look at that. There's always somebody. You were in the Army, right? Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Give me your guess. Ken Yes, yeah, I'm right. Yes, sir. It's all right. right. Yes, sir. For those who do not know, those are a rare breed, and this is one of them. So we salute you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ken. Uh, is there anyone else that we might have missed? This is your opportunity. Okay. All right. Great. Um, John. Did we, uh, did we get a photo of Linda? We need to get a photo of Linda and you and Bob at a minimum. Okay, why do we want to do that, Linda, because this is like the only opportunity we get, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do that. Bob, what, while that is happening, we're not messing around. We're going to keep going forward, okay? You can tap dance later. It's okay. All right. So we're going to get a photo. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, all right, what, what we got? We're going to do the photos and we got some announcements. You don't want to miss.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.